ಜಂತಮರಾಮೀತಿ ಮಧುರ ಮಧುರಾಕ್ಷರ ಆರುಹ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾ ಶಾಖಾ ವಂದೇ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಕೋಕಿಲ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಶ್ರಿತ ಸಂತ್ರಸ ತ್ವಾಂತ ವಿಧ್ವಂಸ ನೋದಯ ಪ್ರಭಾನ್ ಸೀತೆಯ ದೇವ್ಯ ಪರಮ ವ್ಯೋಮ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಪರಮ ವ್ಯೋಮ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ನಿಗಮಾಂತ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸುಂದರ ಕಾಂಡ the very quintessence of vedanta well i would even say the quintessence of the entire ramayana is what we are all experiencing hanuman's balyam the circumstances that led to his birth punjika sthala being born as anjana devi getting married to a vanara called kesari with the divine intervention of mahadeva prabhu mahadeva which is lord shiva and vayudeva gives birth to a very very special patram as a gift not to just her but to the entire world and that child is called sundara by the mother being the son of anjana devi he is referred to as anjaneya swami being a child a divine child who was the confluence of the powers of mahadeva of vayu and kesari even during his childhood was always acting and thinking differently from other vanaras of his age while his mother in a mundane process of feeding the child with curd rice the child look to the rising sun between the branches of the tree and thought it was a fruit hanging from one of the branches in order to pursue the very delicious fruit to the child it was not the sun it was a fruit the child started leaping here is the shlokam apyutthitam tatasuryam balo drishtva mahavani phalam cheti jigukshustvam utnutya bhyugato divam he jumped to the skies because his only mission was to fetch that particular fruit so he started jumping branch after branch tree after tree in pursuit of that fruit the mother tried telling no son that is my dear son that is the sun who is he going to listen to tulsi das ji says this yuga sahasra yojan par bhano nilyo tahi madhur phal jano he says this in avadhi the famed poet in the telugu tradition called annamayya or annamacharya states balarka bimbamo phalamani batina halari chetala hanumanta donare brumma donache varamunu oli chekoni na o hanumanta ಬಾಲಾರ್ಕ 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 ಅರ್ಕ ಇಸ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಬಾಲಾರ್ಕ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸನ್ ಬಾಲಾರ್ಕ ಬಿಂಬಮು ಫಲಂ ಅನಿ ಬಟಿ ಹಿ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಜಂಪಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಚ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸಚ್ ಪವರ್ ಇಂದ್ರ as usual who controls the dik palakas thought that this boy has been aspiring to sit in his throne indra always has this perennial fear so he took his vajrayudham vajram is that ayudham made from the backbone of a rishi called dadhichi 
So Dadhichi's power, all tapasya, austerities is in his body, especially his backbone. So his backbone was used to make this particular ayudham called Vajrayudham. So even if Indra had a different intent, Vajrayudham can't fail, it comes from a Maharishi. Even if the intent is bad, the knife has to do its job. So he took the Vajrayudham and as the boy was jumping branch after branch after tree after tree, Indra came and struck the boy with Vajrayudham. You may be wondering, is this expected of a Deva like Indra or Deva Indra to do such a, a very, uh, a, an act which doesn't worth any merit at all, that too on a child, Bala Hanuman will he do. That is why our Purvacharyas state, though the Puranas and the Vedas mention of Indra time and again, when it is mentioned in the Puranas, it deals with the character Indra who misbehaved with Ahalya, who stole the horses of many Ashwamedha Yajyas. When it comes in the Vedam, Indra Shabdam deals with the Paramatma because every time we invoke Indra, we see Paramatma as the Antaryami to Indra. So, it's called Indra Pranadhikaranam in Brahma Sutras. So, in the Brahma Sutras, we come across Indra Pranadhikaranam. That said, whether it is Indra and the Paramatma whom we should see within Indra in the Veda and the Vedanta or Indra as a Patram in the Upabrahmanams, our Purvacharyas are of a firm opinion. Though we see various devas of differing powers like Indra, Vayu, Agni, Surya, Chandra, they all need to be respected to a certain extent. But it is ultimately Paramatma, Sriman Narayana to whom we have to surrender. So our concentration and focus should be on one. When we try to respect every other deity because they are more powerful than us, which is obvious. So here Indra does a very, very uh, petty uh, uh, act of hurting a child. So the child is hurt with the Vajrayudam of uh, Indra and the child swoons and falls. This has also been mentioned. Tada Shaila Grashikare Vamo Hanura Bhajata Tatohi Namadhe Yamte Hanumani Dikirtiate. If you observed me speaking, I have referred to the child as Sundara, as Anjaneya. When the Vajrayudam hits the boy's left cheek, is when this left cheek, Vamo Hanu. So this is called Hanu. So, since the boy was hit with the Vajrayudam here, that sudden shock made the child swoon. And this remained a scar for that little boy. So, Hanuman's left portion will be slightly swollen. So, he is referred to as Hanuman. Hanuman means one who is Hanu. The left cheek is, is hurt, is fractured. So, it got a bit inflamed and it remained a scar for him. That is why the shloka says, Tada Shailadra Shikare Vamo Hanura Bhajata Tatohi Namadheyamte Hanuman Iti Kirtyate. So this boy swooned and fell. Anjana Devi was perplexed. She was worried. After many, many years was born this wonder kid. And look at him now. He's fallen on the ground. He's, she started lamenting. She started crying. That's when Vayu thought. If this is the treatment that is meted to my son, then what will happen to the normal children born on earth? He got furious. I generally say, Valmiki doesn't mention. He says that Vayu stopped moving, which means that the availability of breathable air became less. When air's content becomes less, breathable air becomes less, we know the population will suffer. So, I generally say that in science we study that there is a certain component of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, carbon, all this in the air, right? So, when we look at oxygen, it varies between 19 and 20 percent. And imagine there is a slight fluctuation from 20 becomes 18. You, you can't even imagine many of them will die because there are certain people whose respiratory system is not as normal as the others. So, when Vayu wanted to show, teach a lesson, he might have reduced the oxygen content. People started dropping down dead. 
that is when with all the celestials with indra too brahma comes and says vayu you will have to forgive indra and do not punish the rest of them for his act that is when when brahma deva himself requested vayu restored the oxygen component in the air and uh, hanuman came to consciousness now every deity present there every deva present there wanted to console and convince the mother that they stand in solidarity with her so when a child cries you generally give them a chocolate you give them something that you have so each devata gave a boon to hanuman now hanuman sundara earlier anjaneya earlier so hanuman started obtaining one boon after the other so in this list brahma was also standing and he said people invoke my name and aim the brahmastra it is regarded as one of the most powerful astras missiles and there is no situation where brahmastra fails but i boon i give a boon to this little boy that even if brahmastra is aimed at hanuman it will do no harm to him this is the boon that i am going to give so he will be the exception to the general rule that brahmastra will harm people so nothing will happen to him as every devata present there graciously granted a boon to hanuman in the presence of anjana devi last stood surya deva surya deva he said see there are only a certain number of boons that we devatas have powers to grant and i observe that all these boons have been granted to hanuman i don't know what i can grant new i cannot keep repeating the other boons because that is already been granted that is when anjana devi said swami surya deva you give us light you shower light on this entire world without any disparity so we worship you we revere you on the other hand my son should also become a personification of knowledge gnanam but we have never been able to uh, engage our son under the tutelage of a revered guru he surya deva can you be the acharya for my dear son sundara who is now hanuman requested anjana devi surya deva said i graciously whole heartedly accept hanuman as my dear student but of course there is one small impediment what asked the mother i have a ratham a chariot with one wheel that is called sambatsaram i have aruna as my sarathi my charioteer he holds the seven horses with the reins and then starts moving around to different places so as the rays of the sun move i too move but your son has to learn under me while i am moving what he says is i will be a mobile acharya i won't be stationed in one place i will keep moving your son has to move the mother said my son is a hyperactive son he cannot sit in one place he will keep moving it is very apt that the teacher is also a mobile acharya so my son can learn very well that is how hanuman learnt the different shastras of sanatana dharma under his guru surya deva and eventually he mastered languages so well that he is referred to even till date as navavyakarana pandita navavyakarana means the one who has mastered nine different forms of grammar he was that eloquent in languages that eloquent in different forms of arts well if i have to speak about hanuman how can i not mention of one great hymn composition in avadhi by goswami tulasidas goswami tulasidas gave us ram charit manas in avadhi and besides ram charit manas he is also blessed us with hanuman chalisa beat from the north from kashmir till kanyakumari gujarat till arunachal pradesh and to the very vast diaspora the indian diaspora living in different parts of the world hanuman chalisa is a daily routine who will not get emotional when i begin 
श्री गुरु चरण सरो जर ज निज मन पुकुर सुधारे बर नो रघुबर बिमल यश जो दायक फल चार बुद्धिहीन तनु जानी के सुमिरो पवन गुआर बल बुद्धि विद्या दे मोही हर कले स्वीकार मे हनुमान डिस्पेल ऑल अवर वरीज एंड गिव अस अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस वाइल आई एम स्पीकिंग एंड यू आर ऑल लिसनिंग टू सुंदर अकांड डियर आस्तिका रीडर आई एम हैप्पी टू बी ऑथरिंग अ टू पार्ट बुक ऑन द रामायण इन इंग्लिश The first part is slated for release in the year 2024. The book aims to recreate and retell the Ramayana of Valmiki conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature. To receive notifications of the book release, kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org/books. Namaskaram.